Hey guys, what's up? This is Blaze the Movie Fan and 2012 has been a fun year in movies for me. But as fun as that year was, there still were a couple of good awful shit movies that really fucking sucked. And that's why I made a list of the top 15 worst movies of the year. Now keep in mind that this is just my personal opinion. If you like any of those movies on the list, that's totally fine by me. But I personally hated the movies on this list. So without further ado, here's the list of top 15 worst movies of 2012, in my opinion. Number 15, Save. Now this is a disappointing movie to me because I expected this movie to be good. I mean Jason Statham is usually good in action movies with guns. But the main problem with this movie is the fact that a lot of it didn't make any sense. What's so special about that coat that the girl has? And why is the whole fucking city after that specific girl? Well, those questions are answered in the movie. But the reasons just make no sense whatsoever to me. Number 14, Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance. Now this is another movie that I expected to be good because I'm a fan of Lady Cross Cage and I really enjoyed the 2007 movie Ghost Rider. But this movie was so disappointing to me. There was almost no action in this movie. And you would expect this movie to have more action since it is about a bad AS skeleton on fire. But no, most of this movie was just some talk about some demonic crap that I just couldn't get into or even care about. Number 13. This means war. The main problem with this movie is that it's just a generic spy movie. Not only is this a generic spy movie, it's also a generic spy movie with some romantic drama that I personally couldn't fucking care about. Number 12. Man in Black 3. This is another disappointing movie, but thankfully it's the last disappointing movie on this list, since the rest of the movies are movies that I expected to be bad. So anyway, I can say that this is definitely one of the worst movies about time traveling I've ever seen. There is too much about this movie that doesn't make any sense to me. Will Smith's character shouldn't have been aware of that other timeline. Even after chatting about that with some fans of the movie, I still think that it's very nonsensical. And to add to the fact that a lot of this movie made no sense, this movie also has a shitty villain. Number 11, Battleship. I just wanna ask, who the fuck thought it would be a good idea to make a movie based on a board game? It seriously isn't. And this is a movie I expected to be bad from the beginning since making a movie based on a board game is a fucking bad idea to begin with. So let's put aliens in this movie. Aliens? Well, regardless of how this movie was executed, I don't think this movie had any chance of being any good, since the concept is fucking stupid to begin with. Number 10, A Man on a Ledge. Another movie that doesn't make any sense. I really had a hard time understanding the plot of the movie. And that's because the plot of this movie made no fucking sense. So this is basically a movie about a man who eats on a ledge of a huge building. Now that was pretty good, but everything else about the movie just wasn't. Number 9, Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. In my review, I said that this movie had good concept but bad execution. 
But now that I think about it, the concept is fucking stupid to begin with. I mean seriously, making Abraham Lincoln one of the most iconic people in the US history into someone who hunts vampires? What the fuck? Yeah, I should have known from the beginning that this concept is also stupid. Number 8. Mirror, mirror. Now you guys all know the story about Snow White. Most of you should know that story since it's a pretty popular story. Mirror, mirror is definitely a shitty adaptation of that story. With the queen being unlikable for all the wrong reasons, Snow White not being a beautiful or an interesting character in any way and is overall a very shitty adaptation of Snow White. Number 7 The Watch So it's basically a movie about murder mystery involving aliens. Now this could have been a good movie if it wasn't for all those unnecessary scenes Unfunny scenes that didn't add anything to the movie. I'm serious. I didn't even smile during this movie This movie's comedy is just awful Which does suck because the main actors in the movie have been in better movie than this Number six Paranormal Activity 4 The original Paranormal Activity movie wasn't even that good it was mostly just a boring movie. And the fourth Paranormal Activity movie is too much like the first one. I was just so fucking bored when I watched it. Number 5. Piranha 3DD This movie is nothing more than a gore first feature in Piranhas. It has no good story, no good characters. All it has is a fucking gore first. Number 4. Ice Age Continental Drift. This movie is a perfect example of a movie franchise that should have ended a long time ago. This movie has mostly main characters that aren't likable and a generic city villain. Seriously, there is nothing good about this movie. Number 3. Underworld Awakening. The main problem I have with this movie is the fact that it feels more like video game footage than it feels like a movie. It has a main character that I really couldn't care about and also an awful story. The only thing this movie had going for it was the action. But, like I said before, good action does not make a good movie. Number 2. Resident Evil Retribution. This movie had shitty story that didn't make much sense. And not to mention, the action in this movie is so laughably bad. Movies like this are the reason why most movies based on video games suck. I mean seriously, there is nothing good about this movie. Number 1. The Three Stooges. This movie has what I hate seeing in not just comedy movies, but movies in general. Most of this movie's comedy was about those three idiots hitting each other and causing trouble. That's not funny. That's just stupid and unbearable. Not only is this movie good awful, it's also one of the worst movies that I've ever seen, period. So that basically concludes the top 15 worst movies of 2012. If you disagree with me with any of the choices, that's totally fine by me. Now despite the fact that there are several bad movies released in 2012, there were more movies of 2012 I really enjoyed. And I will make a top 15 best movies of 2012 list video as soon as I have watched the movie Django Unchained. So look out for that. That should be coming out later this month. That's all I gotta say people. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day.